They specifically said haymakers. Does that mean David Hay is going to be in the game? What is good people? Welcome to another episode of Concept Reason. Today we have the latest May development updates from Esports Boxing Club. This is the big update on what is happening with the game. I haven't read these notes yet. We do this together. We always read the notes together, remember? So yeah, let's do this now. Let's just get straight into it. As always on Concept Reese, we got the trusty glasses people. The trusty glasses are on. I'm looking forward to this. I'm gonna be real with you people. I'm ready for this because we just had the Canelo announcement. That was huge. How can they top that? That's just like crazy news. But anyway, we're gonna find out now. Hello, fight fans. ESBC update. Our story continues to be one of growth and groundbreaking achievements being made by everyone involved with Steel City Interactive. Whilst the roster was always going to be a secondary priority for us behind gameplay, we heard the community loud and clear with regards to wanting licensed fighters. Since then, the volume of exclusive licenses we have agreed for you all is nothing short of extraordinary. 230 licenses, boxers, trainers, cutmans, promoters, brands, networks, over 100 world champions, more boxers will be announced, so we're getting more people. This will continually be the case as more fighters are added in 2021, 2022 and beyond. We are pleased to announce that our very first public playtest was carried out inside the studio on Friday the 21st of May. Where was, where was your boy man? Where was I? Bro, I wasn't even invited man. That's, I might cry. Anyway, the overall feedback has been very positive. We are reviewing and working on areas highlighted in the feedback. This is in line with our commitment to provide gamers and boxing fans a game we can be proud of. Okay, let's let's dissect what we've just read there. So, the key emphasis here is building out the roster whilst also making sure that gameplay is on point. These are the two key elements that Esports Boxing Club are focusing on right now. And I'd say they're the most important elements of any game, especially a fighting game. Whether that's boxing, whether that's Street Fighter, whether that's Tekken, whatever, roster and gameplay are two of the key ingredients for any fighting game. Probably more so for Esports Boxing Club because it's grounded in reality. You've got real people in this game. But as it says here, 230 licenses, boxers, trainers, cutmen, promoters, brands and networks. We haven't seen this before. This is new stuff for people like us. We haven't had the opportunity to have promoters branding and networking a game before. I briefly remember the Burger King mascot, I forgot the King guy, being in one of the Fight Night games many years ago. But it hasn't gone much further than that. It was probably more of a a market employed by Burger King rather than an extension of the game. This is a part of the game. This is this is a part of the ethos of boxing, having brands and network and promoters and people around you. We're getting that realistic gameplay, people. And now this is the big one, over 100 world champions, over 100 world champions in this game. Do you know what people, I think sometimes we get bugged down on who we want in this game rather than looking at what this game is and just what we've got so far. 100 world champions is no small feat. And now they're saying more boxes will be announced. I'm not gonna say downside, because there's no downside to including more boxes in any game, but it's gonna be hard to topple Canelo. So they either have to do something really big, like huge, but either way, I'm really happy. Like, this is good news. They're genuinely continuing to grow. And I know people are getting slightly frustrated at the lack of news on, on a release date, but if they're going to continue to add more things, they, it can be as long as it needs to be. I've said this in previous videos, I need my food to be cooked. If this game comes out and it's not cooked, we're all going to be on here getting mad. So I'd rather the game be ready before it releases. Let's carry on. Gameplay features. Whilst news about partnerships and new additions to the roster are great news for making ESBC the go-to place for combat gaming, our focus will never stray from gameplay. So we are happy to provide you with the following updates. The Haymakers have now been implemented into ESBC. Power shots will exist for every punch style. Miss and you could be severely punched with a counter hit and you could score a KO. The countering system is now in version two testing. This has now gone through a major overhaul, a point where we feel we have also revolutionized this feature in a boxing game. We can confirm that the players will be able to counter based on their movement and positioning rather than relying on just punching a button to activate a counter window. Okay, this is page one done. Let's just look at what we've got so far. 
They specifically said haymakers. Does that mean David Hay is going to be in the game? You can't have the haymakers without David Hay. I'm sorry, but you know what I'm trying to say. You can't have the haymakers without Mr. David Hay in the game. And if David Hay's in the game, is Derek Chisora in the game? Derek Chisora is his boy, man. Maybe these two, you know. I'm. You might have heard this here first, people. I've got a, I've got a feeling David Hay might be in this game. Yeah. But anyway, that's just rumors. That's, you know, speculation. Uh, countering, that sounds good. It's an important part of the game. When I'm playing Fight Night Champion, I am very much a counter attacker. So I'm really glad that they're focusing hard on making sure that this part of the game is completely up to scratch. AI improvement. This now includes tendencies, strategies, and fighting styles, all based on how the opponent is fighting and any publicized weakness in career mode whilst taking the scorecards into account. Defense and offense. We felt combat games in general focus heavily on offensive gameplay. We wanted ESBC to be a game where the player has just as many defensive options as offense. With this vision, we have now introduced a new slip system for the player, combining this feature with back foot combat, the countering system, weave system, and the footwork system. We're confident this will be the most advanced boxing game ever created. Okay. This is, let me just turn my glasses off for a hot minute for this bit. So this is really important because I am a very much a defensive fighter in any fighting game. When I'm playing Fight Night, you will usually see me on the ropes or ducking and weaving, trying to get that jab in. Like that's just the way I fight within these fighting games. I'm so glad that they're putting emphasis on defense because if you look at a lot of top fighters, the one of the things that they do really well is their defense. It is important that it's in the game. The limitation of Fight Night is his overwhelming focus on attack. They consistently want you to punch and punch hard. It's not like that in boxing. It's a game of chess. You've got to punch hard, but you've got to be clever about it. That's what we're focusing on here. It's big news. New exclusive partnership integrations. Following on from last month's major announcement of the major sanctioning bodies being involved in ESBC, we are delighted to confirm the WBO. Ooh. Oh, okay. Have joined our ever increasing exclusive license family. Damn, the WBO are here, people. That's big news. That's probably the. Damn, that's big news. I would argue that news is as big as a big superstar boxer being in the game. It's all good having the superstars in the game, but to grind it in that reality that we're trying to do here, it's good that we've got the sanctioning bodies. We've already got the WBC involved, and now the WBO are here too. This is big news. Really good news. Um, I know we've got a few big ones already. I can't remember the ones off the top of my head. I know the WBC is one of the big major ones, but to also have the WBO here in the game, it's getting better and better, man. It's getting better and better. We hope you enjoyed the announcement. We appreciate all the support from those of you who have followed Steel City Interactive from the beginning. And those of you that have kept faith in the studio to deliver the biggest names in boxing. <sighs> that that video I did on Canelo Alvarez, which I'm gonna put right here if you haven't watched it, you can see how hyped I was for this announcement on Canelo Alvarez. Honestly, the fact that his name is attached to this project, it's a win. It's a win for us because people are gonna have eyes on it now. It's gonna bring in a massive audience and that's what we need. New gameplay trailer. So, okay, I've not read this bit yet, but I'm hoping good news. I'm hoping good news because I know you guys are waiting for a trailer and I'm waiting for a trailer, so let's just read it. The community response to our alpha gameplay footage was incredible. We're pleased to confirm we will be releasing a further video showing the progression and development alongside new gameplay features that we've announced in these updates. We will confirm a date for this when it's ready. Okay, okay. We just gotta be a little bit more patient. I think, by the way, that's the end of the, um, of the development update. But we just gotta be a bit more patient when it comes to gameplay. Frustrating, of course, but man, we've had so many good announcements. We're being spoiled at this point. We've just gotta be a little bit more patient and that gameplay trailer will be coming very, very soon. I'm guessing that they were probably waiting for this Canelo announcement to be made. They're trying to get the renders in of him in the game. And obviously they're gonna to wanna to put him in the game. Him, Muhammad Ali, Terence Crawford, all these fighters are gonna wanna make an appearance in this trailer. It's always gonna help the game sell. We've gotta remember, you and me, people that have been following Esports Boxing Club from the very beginning, we've been hyped about this for ages. We've been following this game for ages, but there is a big audience out there that won't know this game's out until a couple of weeks before it actually releases. And they're gonna go, oh, I didn't know a new boxing game was coming out. He's got Canelo in there, I'm in. 
So I assume we're waiting for all that stuff to happen. Just gotta be a little bit more patient. But overall, this was really good. Really good, man. The WBO are in the game. That's crazy. Like WBO are a massive organization. I'm so glad that they're here. It just adds another dimension to the game, 100%. They mentioned Canelo, that Canelo and Alvarez announcement was huge, as I said earlier. And the last one that they talked about was gameplay features and the focus on not just increasing the roster, but improving gameplay, talking about the importance of defense and the mechanics around it. Damn, we're winning people, <laughs> we're winning. Anyway, that's the update, man. That's everything. What do you guys think? Are you excited for this? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. You'll be helping me out massively. Take care, guys. Peace.